Michelle friends, Beth with Thimblehooks, back again with another corner to corner version or a C to C version. Um, this was the one we did originally. This was the traditional or the classic, which is a 6-3. I am going to show you now the one that I prefer to use, which is what I call a 5-2. I think some people call it modern. You see it's the exact same hook and the exact same yarn. This is all Care on Simply Soft, all the same 5 millimeter hook for all three of these pieces. It's just the way that we use the stitches. So you see this one is bigger. They're exactly the same. So I'm going to move this one aside and I'm going to show you how I do the one that I like best. This is what I work with. It's called a 5-2 and I will show you right now why it's called a 5-2 and not a 6-3. You can probably guess. I bet you can guess. So I start out with the slip knot. Use the corresponding hook for whatever yarn you choose. It doesn't matter. With the traditional, we start out with six chains. With this version, the modern version or the 5-2 version, we're going to try and start out with five chains. So there's one, two, three. Still going to mark this third chain with her finger and then we're only going to chain two more. Instead of three more, it's only two more. So it was a total of five chains and double crochet into the first three chains. One each. There's a double crochet and there's the second one and here's the third one. We go and made our very first little square. Again this was I'm working with Karen Simply Soft. This one is cobalt blue. I love this shade of blue. This one is cobalt blue. Hopefully it shows up. Oh yeah it shows up very nicely. Okay now when our to increase, because we had done one here, we want to increase because we go diagonally again. One, two, three, four. Everything increases until you decide you want to turn the corner and start to decrease. That's why it's called a corner to corner or a C to C. We're going to increase one stitch per row. So this is how we're going to increase. We're going to chain up five. I like to mark that third one with my, with my thumb. And there's number four, number five. Double crochet into the first three chains of that set of five. There's one, whoopsie, and two, and three. So there's the first little square of row two. Now it looks kind of weird, but you want to flip it here so that you know you have your chain 2 space right here. There's our chain 2 space. That's very important. So what we want to do, some people will tell you, there's some people who prefer to slip stitch through the chain 2 space. I do not do it that way. I find my chain 2 space right here but then the stitch right next to it, right here, right here, we want to do a slip stitch into that stitch. And now we're going to chain two instead of three. This is a two, that's why it's a five two in between stitches. We're going to chain two and do three double crochets into our chain two space just makes it a little bit smaller because our chains are one less each time so it brings the squares a little closer together. And there's row two. There's square number one and then there's square number one and two and right row two. So we're, again we're going to increase. One, two, three. Just mark this one with my thumb. Four, five. Three double crochets. One in each of the first chains that you made in that little five chain part for the increase. Oh no! Well my yarn was broken so I'm going to reattach right here. So we want to flip up our work, find our chain two space. It's a little harder to find than it was with the traditional because it's smaller and then we want to go into the stitch right next to it 
and I'm just going to reattach this and slip stitch and then we chain two and in our chain space three double crochets so if you're familiar with the corner to corner or the C to C this is just a different amount of chains is really the only difference there's our chain two space and the stitch right next to it slip stitch and chain two and in the chain space itself one two and three there's row three one and there's row two and there's row three so do one more row there's one two three, four, five, and then we want to double crochet into the first three chains from your chain five. Then you flip the work so it looks like stairs. So you can see all of the ones that still need to be worked. These are finished. So these ones need to be worked. There's our chain two space. I'm going to go right next to it and slip stitch. Chain two in the chain two space. We're going to double crochet three times. one more time. There's our chain two space. The stitch right next to it is where we want to slip stitch, chain two, and three double crochets into the chain space. This works up really fast. You can sit and work on a project like this while you're watching a movie. It's almost a no-brainer because it's repetition. It's so many double crochets. It's just funny. So there's our last one right here, double crochet, go to the stitch next to it, slip stitch, chain two and three double crochet into our chain space. There's row four. One, two, and there's three, and then see here, one, two, three, and four turn the corner and then we'll change colors. One, two, three. One, two. Three double crochet. One in each of the first chains in your chain five. And then flip up your work so you've got your steps. And now we'll change colors. I always change my colors in this fashion. I've completed this square. This is done. Now we're going to take my next color. This is simply soft uh, limelight, I believe. This is limelight. Very awesome green. Very bright green. There's our chain two space and the stitch right next to it. We just want to pull this through and pull through here for a slip stitch and chain two. Leave the tails nice and long so you're going to want to be able to get them on a needle. This one probably should have been a little bit longer. I would leave it six, eight inches long at least. This one's a little shorter than I would want it to be if I were doing a big project, but since this is a swatch I wasn't paying as much attention. Alright, so now we're going to continue. We've got our chain two with our new color. There's our chain two space from previous. Three double crochet in our chain two space. There's our chain two space. Let's stitch right next to it. Chain two and three 
double crochets in our chain two space. One more time. There's our chain two space, the stitch right next to it. Chain two. Three double crochets in our chain two space. And one more time. Finish out row five. Chain two space and the stitch right next to it. It's where we want to be with our slip stitch. One, two, and there's our chain space. One. And two and three. We've increased now to five. One, two, three, four, five rows. One, two, three, four, five. That's row five. Now we're going to turn the corner. So how I do this is to just turn my work and I want to slip stitch into this stitch right here that we just worked. No chaining, just we're going to slip stitch. So there's one slip stitch and two slip stitches and number three. Slip stitch in the top of each of the double crochets we just made in this square. Now we're lined up with our chain two space so we can start the next square. So it's chain two and three double crochets in our chain two space. And then we just continue what we've been doing the entire time. There's our chain two space. The stitch right next to it needs a slip stitch. Chain two and three double crochets in the chain space. And one more time. There's the chain two space. Stitch right next to it. Slip stitch, chain two, one, two, and three, and one, two, and three. like to leave these tails nice and long and leave them until I personally wait until I'm done with the project even if it's huge even if it's a huge project and then I just spend three hours weaving in my ends which I have done before but I like to leave them just so we can keep tightening things up they'll go a little bit loose here and there and now we're going to do our last piece of this row so there's our slip stitch now we want to start working this way. Just like we made this corner, we're going to make another one. So we did our slip stitch, but instead of increasing and making a square right up in here, we're going to turn our work. So there's our stairs. And slip stitch three times. One to finish off our square. Slip stitching in the top of the three double crochets that we just made. There's our, and now we're lined up for our chain two space. So we can start the next one. Chain two, three double crochets in that chain two space. And again, there's our chain two space. Stitch right next to it. See how easy, easily this works up? It works up really fast. And there's number three. We're going to slip stitch. Slip stitch right there. Chain two. And in our chain two space, three double crochets. And now we're at the end of this row. So we're going to find our chain two space again, right here. Right next to it is the stitch that you want to slip stitch into. Spin our work and three slip stitches across 
in the top of each of the double crochets that we just made. And now we're lined up again with our chain two space. So we'll finish this off really quick. Three double crochets in that chain two space. Find the next one. Chain two. And there's our chain two space. Three double crochet. And we're almost done with this square. So we're up to the top now. So there's our chain two space. Let's stitch right next to it. Do a slip stitch. Just spin our work. And a slip stitch in the top of each of the double crochets that we just made. Again. And we're lined up, ready for the next stitch, right there. Chain two, and this is our very last square. I'll show you how you completely end when you get to the end of the project and you just made your very last square. There's our chain two space. Do a slip stitch, spin our work just like we did so we can make a better corner. Instead of it being fanned out like this, we're going to make ourselves a nice little corner. Slip stitch number one, two, and three. Just like we did on all of the other ones. And now you just all you have to do is fasten off however you want. See how quickly that works up. So there's our little swatch. And after some practice, at least you have a coaster. You can see that these are a little bit tighter than the traditional or the classic. See these, our chain three spaces right here are way bigger than our chain two spaces right here and right here. These are exactly the same amount of squares and exactly the same hook, but you can see the difference in size, which is actually quite a bit be quite a bit of a difference if you're making something that's very large. The 5-2 or this modern version or the um, the alternate version that I've been showing you just now is the one that I use when I make graph gowns. I always do a 5-2 or the modern. I never use this one because it makes the, the holes are just a little bit too big and sometimes you can lose sight of your pattern of your design that you're making like this. See all of these are nice and tight. So there you have it. There's version number two. As opposed to the classic, this is version number two, which is called a 5-2 or the modern version of a corner to corner or a crocheted C to C. This is my favorite way to do a corner to corner of five. This is the second one that I've that I have uh, done a little tutorial on. This is my favorite one, but uh, I will go move on to the next ones. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to my channel and stop back soon for version number three. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.